Now that is what we came here today for. That is a very big calamari, at least whoa, 40 centimetres hood length. It's going to taste delicious too. Very happy. G'day, Nathan from Paddlefish Tasmania here. We've heard some reports of some good calamari squid getting about in the Derwent River, so we've headed down early this morning to Blackman's Bay to see if we can pick up a few ourselves. I've been fishing so far for a couple of hours and things have been fairly quiet. I've managed to pick up a wrasse, a large gurnard and a couple of undersized flathead. Hopefully as this day starts to warm up, the fish will come on and fire as well. Let's see how we go. I've been fishing for about, where are we now, nearly an hour and a half and I haven't found a thing, we've come across this weed patch, I've had a follow by a couple of cows. We might be on here. Yep, got him. Oh, it took me ages to find these guys. They're not real big either, but at least we've found a few. And that's it, we're on. First of the day, finally. That's, ugh, thanks, bud. So that's only really small calamari, but there's no size limit on them, so it'll make a few nice rings regardless. And the easiest way to finish these guys off as well is capturing them. Quality of the fish, knife between the eyes. It'll change colour straight away as I hit him in the head. Goes dead white, and that's a sign to say. Dead cow. Another cast, another small squid. Oh, that's a good little pickup. I'm expecting that. Try and catch my camera and the squid. <laughs> so just another small squid. Nothing too mammoth. Hopefully he's got some big friends. Oh, well they say action creates action, so even the flathead are coming to the party now. That's what we're after. There we go, good flatty. Oh, this thing is tiny. <laughs> well, just moving around to find them because they're not staying in one spot, but I think they're getting smaller. You can almost live bait this for kingfish, but... Maybe squid's a good squid. Oh, there you go, go on. So definitely not our biggest fish for the day. In fact, probably our smallest, but no size limit. We'll go in the pan tonight, looking forward to it. Another small one. I was hoping this one would be a bit bigger. No. I have to forgive the buff over my face. It's uh, a very warm day in Tassie, believe it or not. Don't you ink me. Alright. Oh, good job, bud. So the best thing to do out of a kayak with squid is leave them in the net in the water and what you'll find is that they'll ink in the net, not on you, which is pretty much ideal. Still full of water. So that's been pretty much the size of it today, just these little juvenile squid all day, but they eat just as well as the big ones and it's been a good bit of fun really. It's like another nice flatty. Oh, he's going alright. Oh, this fish is putting up a great fly. Oh. You've got to give it to Flathead, the bigger ones do go well. Yeah. Swallow the good size flathead. What have we got here? So the bait rod's finally gone off, I'm just trying to pick up some extra flatties. The teeth and the one. It's got weight. Another nice little Derwent flatty that just goes size, just squeaks into the 32. Well that was pretty cool, I just saw a small school of squid, small school of squid, that's hard to say, um, free swimming past the boat. So I chucked out the lure out the front and put the camera on top of it as well. So I think I actually caught the hook up, which would be really cool if I had. But yeah, these guys were just swimming past and 
need to see them. That's what having a really good pair of Polaroid glasses can do for you. Only another small one, but really, really cool to actually see these guys swimming around and hook them up. It's the best part about squid fishing in clear water is you're pretty much sight fishing the whole time. You're looking for follows, you're looking for them swimming through the water, just looking for any sign of them. So, And that's the result. You end up with some good fish if you pay attention. That's a heaps better one. That is a good fish. That's what I've been here all today for. That is heaps better. All these little fish have been getting all day and this one's finally rocked up. You have to be over 30. He's heavy. Well hooked. Oh, bigger than the net actually. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can hook him this time. Come on. Oh, that is a really big squid. Now that is what we came here today for. That is a very big calamari, at least whoa, 40 centimetres hood length. He's going to taste delicious too. Very happy. Yeah, probably Christmas, I think. The same thing with my daughter. I didn't want to have a uh, double because you go on your own. Plastic out the back before I was dealing with this plate, and we put mine, and there was another one on the on that. Oh, really? He was exhausted. <laughs> oh, they're a nice little size. Yeah. Just you better put a um, squid jig on. Geez, you're in close too. Yeah. Oh, he just came out. I was just dragging it across him. Yeah. One of his favourites. <laughs> right. What do you say? Enjoy that. No worries. I'll give you some push. Yeah, it's here. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys. Well, after arriving around 6.30 this morning, hoping to catch the squid just on the rising of the sun, turns out it wasn't the best time for it today. Slow couple of hours and they managed a few small squid. And as the day got a bit brighter and a bit warmer, they really started to come on. Ended up catching about six pretty small models and then last cast of the day, caught that really big one you saw. And we'll put him over the measure shortly and let you know how big he goes. A couple of small flatheads as well, which is really nice. And it was great to be joined by a couple of other anglers in kayaks as well, especially seeing them out with their kids. We did offer up a couple of our squid because we're not going to eat them all, so hopefully the guys we met do, make them, uh, do put them to good use tonight. As always, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.